what up what up wheatfield what it do welcome back to the wheatfield y'all welcome to you welcome come on in come on in this is your girl lati here at tears the week to roll show where you show enough never know what you're gonna get yeah if you knew hey hi hi welcome welcome to you too come on in we're so excited to have you we're so excited so excited it's saturday y'all and um on, on late late uh early 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 in the morning it was at the midnight so the sun was in the underworld underneath on this side and it was getting ready to come back and do its return to rise again right um we pulled a pretty deep, deep message it was i had no idea it was going to turn out the way that it did and it's like still rolling 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 i'm very much still tapped into this energy so we're going to tap back in and get out what i feel like maybe any last remnants any last tidbits so if you guys are into it and you want to tap in with your girl stick around stick around stick around if you end up vibing subscribe we love to have you i mean you will you will we anyway so you might as well just come on into the wheat field come on into this lot you know what i mean it just is what it is because the shepherd is calling it is the shepherd is calling saying come little lambs woo woo it's time to come into the sheep fold. So if you want to join the lot and you want to come into this wheat field, I mean, you're in the wheat field anyway. You know what I'm trying to say. If you vibe with your girl, subscribe. If it end up being something you care about, share it out. Sharing is caring. And if you uh, want to come back on a daily and get this here spell, because, you know, we just saying words. We just chopping it up, get it up so we can get it out. You know what I mean? Hit that bell. You know, that's how it go. That's what it is. And, uh, yeah, that's what it is. So, uh... Thank you to the Alpha and the Omega. What up? Hey, what up? Oh, coming in and leading your girl, your vessel. You know, surrendered. On to you. Being obedient. You know, that's what we do. You move, I move. Just like that. You know what I'm saying? That's how we do it over here. We got the intelligence, the infinite intelligence of the all, a.k.a. the word, wisdom, baked in. You know, we got the breath of life, the holy chi, that spirit that's moving and resonating and animating this here God body that's how it go you know what i mean so uh without that we can't do a shit thing yo you know what i'm saying what we gonna do without no breath <laughs> nothing all right so uh i got a word baked in it is it was placed down within me uh-huh and i've been called and i answered yes and i was given a decree to come and speak the word that's in me yes i am a living word the living word this one right here yes and it breathes it does and uh we brought a word on last night about uh a demonic energy being attached to a person that you ended up being hooked up with and they were able to attach onto you because of this here chiron energy and we see post shadow retrograde too and pardon i'm asking for your grace because this retrograde energy not just this one but the retrograde we were in or is getting ready to end we uh yeah maybe having some things feeling a little backwards i could think it and speak out some whole you know but then we have to go back and get it corrected because i stay behind the alpha and omega so they gonna say what needs to be said with it so don't be fooled it's here and this is in the sun suit art of war the word deception doesn't just mean lying or deceiving people with evil intent magicians secret santa presents or surprise parties use deception for good so deception is not inherently bad or good but we are exposed to it every day in politics advertising books and movies sun Tzu says you need to be able to understand deception to be skilled in seeing through it Ooh. be skilled in understanding it so that you can see through it and i feel that somebody was challenged with this skill definitely feeling in the challenge right yeah yeah it's definitely a challenge something that you may have been going around with trying to figure out trying to learn how to 
determine whether or not somebody is coming against you with good intent or ill intent. Maybe you're a person that just sees the good in all people and you don't recognize when they are lying for their own intent and it's just fuckery, right? You could. And depending, if you're a light worker and you're, if you're an empath, you could struggle with that. You could. If you are uh, an angel of balance, I'm getting the energy deck, the angel of balance, the angel of, of love. You want to, you see the highest in people all the time and you don't think that they would. And maybe that's how you are, right? And you put that out and you don't believe that that's what's coming back at you. You believe the best in people and, and you see their highest. Again, you see your reflection of you in them and you're not seeing what they're actually presenting to you. That's what I feel. Have, may I have a sip? Yes. Would you like a sip? Okay. Thank you. Pouring that out. Oh, yes. Thank you. Oh. Would you like a sip now? Intelligence. I be, yeah. Mm. Yes. So, jumping back into the... Are we sealed? No. Thank you so much to Alpha and Omega for being here, for the infinite intelligence and the breath of life for being with me. Please pull me into the inner sanctuary. Yes. Into your inner temple. Brighten up my light and my lumens. Yes, so bright that it protects me. Protect my channel protect my pathway protect all of my entrance points so that anything that may come against me to distort this message to cause any confusion any delusions illusions any chaos any turmoil any interruption to the session and come against your will block it out I brighten my light I ask you to brighten my light so that they are excluded they are rejected they are rebuked they are denied access access is denied this vessel is only surrendered onto the alpha and to the omega the intelligence and the breath that is baked in may access and bring forth the message i thank you so much for your blessing and for your gift if you say that we are in alignment please seal us if there's further words that you would like to pray please bring them Sources reminded me to slow down and to always pray first. Oh, for you too to slow down and pray first. You always need to pray first. Three times, three X per day. Rising, ascension, descension. Yes, yes, yes. Going forward. Go forward, go forward, go forward. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Yes. And went back and put the asterisk over the E. Uh, like kind of going back and cleaning up things and dot, dot, dot. So, yep, post-shadow retrograde. My apologies, Alpha. If you called and said we're ready to go, then you guys are in agreement that it's time to move forward. Let's get it, all right? We take correction. When they move, I move just like that. I'm a kid, for real. See this here card? The post-shadow phase of the retrograde follows the retrograde. So somebody may be in retrograde and then there's a post-shadow phase of the retrograde. This phase takes place after the planet has stationed. When the planet appears to stop before beginning retrograde and working its way to the final degree where the cycle began. Ooh. In this phase, it's something about working its way. When the planet appears to stop before beginning retrograde and working its way to the final degree and where the cycle began. So I'm getting like, if this is the beginning and it goes backwards in retrograde, 
right it's a point where it stops in order to go return and go forward it almost I heard and see that's kind of coinky cool dink okay I'm gonna say it and I pray my bro watch this um he his name is spiritual savage and he got a it's the spiritual savage aka uncle 79 and y'all see i post him to my page too because i think he's a great reader and he said something in one of his readings that just clicked into my head just now and this was a while ago i want to say a week or two ago or something like that maybe he left a message and he said um returning to the scene of the crime and that's what I feel with this post-shadow retrograde. Like somebody is going to return to the scene of the crime. Um, Aquarius. Water bearer. The pitcher. The outpour. The flow. Or something is pouring out with Aquarius. Um, help me spirit. Return of the water bearer. Yes, return of the water bearer. So maybe that's where water to me represents the flow, which also to me represents emotion, right? And Chiron talks about um, in astrology, Chiron represents a deep wound in our souls and our attempts to heal the pain. So something brought you back to the origin of this emotion, getting to the root of it. I feel root chakra, like what was the root of a sense of insecurity? What was the root of the disturbance what was the root of the chaos because it, we see that it ends we see mother we see a community and we see sudden wealth and then we see despair so it was something this right here praise flow the flow flowing back to the root of all of this, which is that woman. Praise, flow, change, night. Praise, flow, and change. Night and the pulse of day. It's definitely something is coming to light, I feel. Yes, yeah, something is definitely getting ready to come to light. It's going back to the origin. Something is being dug out from the origin. This right here, Trine, or trying, I'm not for sure, but it looks like train to me. Um, a train occurs between celestial bodies that share the same element. For example, if you have a sun sign in Scorpio, which is a water sign, and a moon sign in Cancer, which is another water sign, these planets would be considered a water train to each other. So you could be a person who was with another person that is of your same element. Like, again, if you are two fire signs, if you are two earth signs, if you are two water signs, I, for one... Look, my last two that I dealt with were both water signs. So I was in two train situations, a marriage and situ discovery to see if this shit gonna go anywhere. And it was like, no, fuck that. That's not, absolutely no. God damn it. No. So they were a Pisces and a Scorpio. So that would be a train. All right. Uh, so that's what this is. Taurus is here. Like I said, earth sign. I'm feeling earth. You know, somebody could have Taurus in a chart, you know, maybe not necessarily be your current sun sign, but it could, but it could be like your south node could be in Taurus, or you could be um, a Taurus north node, either way. But I feel south node, the energy was on south node. Yeah. So you may enjoy a life of luxury, like that could be something that calls to you because that's what you that's your south note you know you could be somebody that's hard working you could be somebody that um gets a lot of attention you could um put in a lot of effort to get what you want you know you may be stubborn 
too. You could be stubborn in some sense. We see Pluto represents transformation and rebirth. And we had that card down here. I think it's right here, as a matter of fact. Let me get it. Yeah, transmutation, transformation. So somebody is going through a transformation. Maybe you were ascending to your north node. You could be. You know, maybe this whole situation that played out. Because if you had deep wounds, Chiron talks about deep wounds, you know, things that uh, affect your uh, psychological state, which could be this don't be fooled, like your ability to see when somebody is using deception against thee, right? Because again, deception is not always bad. If I wanted to deceive you and say, oh, I'm not doing nothing for your birthday, and then all of a sudden you come into a huge surprise party with all our family and friends there and it's just like this greatest thing ever i deceived you by making you think that nothing was happening but in fact i was doing something that was designed to honor thee now again if you flip that and somebody go on the opposite direction you know what that could look like we so um it says this planet forces us to confront our shadow self you had to confront your shadows it, this whole situation forced you to confront your shadow self so that you could, yeah, post shadow. Return to the origin. This could be mother wounds for you. We. It could be, again, facing the sh these people that did this, whatever they did. Um, we see house and thief. Yeah. Somebody stole something. I hear legacy. I hear um, assets. You know, it's something that definitely was stolen. And it was uh, the origin of how this was done is going back to them, I feel, before everything will start flowing forward again. And it says, this shadow forces us to confront our shadow self, our tempers, and our passions, and come out stronger. Once you engage with this tempestuous planet, you will never be the same. Transmutation, transformation, major change is coming. May I have a sip? Yes. You want a sip? No. Thank you. Yeah. 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 It says... This isn't a bad thing as long as you learn to roll with the punches and embrace personal evolution. And it's a card down here that says reject or release um, what doesn't serve thee. Releasing, letting go. Reject, reject what doesn't serve. Y'all don't be talking about my handwriting. Spirit writes these cards. A lot of my cards, Spirit wrote. Some of them I wrote because they were giving me the thought and then a lot of them spirit scribe itself so it might look whatever um it says pluto takes 12 to 31 years to change zodiac signs wow 12 to 31 years to change zodiac signs so you could have been a person and we pulled a child card down here but I don't know if that's the same energy. But what I'm getting right now is that you could have been going through things from the age of 12 to even 31. Or just, well, how I don't know how long that is. 15 to 30 is 15 years. So, this could be 18. You could have been going through something for like the last 18 years under a serious development. Yeah transformation and rebirth a series of transformation and rebirth over and over and over again cycle upon cycle upon cycle and you could be could have been learning the lesson of how not to be fooled by different types of energies how to let go of certain stuff how to balance this out balancing your heart chakra and your root chakra coming to balance yeah, that's pretty deep. Anything else in here? No. We saw the next card, which was Aries. And Aries, again, is the first sign in the Zodiac. So that would be like, you know. But they're saying we're going back to the water bearer. So, back to the flow. Back to the root of the emotion of whatever was plaguing you. 
whatever is going on it could be generational curses it could be childhood issues traumas that you experienced as a youngster it could be the fact that you are an empath and a light worker and you just didn't know who you are and that you had to be awakened yeah you had to get a message something with a message coming in maybe it was just how the spirit was speaking to you and i see that in the in the celestial bodies and how you are aligned that they were coming come is that right the alpha and the omega had everything celestial celestially aligned the infinite intelligence the word has syncopated things in such a way to bring you to balance and i feel like because you are i do feel definitely heavy empath light worker type of energy had to be because you have you've been under spiritual attack and um to have the lesson of how not to be deceived i mean it's a lot of moon energy here we saw the moon look at this three that came out what is the coinkening of that solar eclipse that means the moon is overtaking the sun we see the moon and the moon and lilith black moon and lilith lilith was the first wife right so that's going back to the origin it's something about going back to the beginning in all of this and it's something uh, complains we can complain because rose bushes have thorns or rejoice because thorns have roses what is your outlook what is your perspective are you fooled the thorns protect roses from outside intruders right you are not supposed to be able to just walk up and pick a rose because it has protection it has to develop it so are we going are should we be upset because the rose has a thorn no we should be glad that that rose has a sense of protection it's built in that protection is built in allowing that protection to come out and develop it so that you cannot just be easily picked and plucked by those who may admire your beauty but they're doing it in a way that's selfish because they took you off of the rose bush instead of just walking past and smelling it and appreciating it in its natural state it wants to pluck you out and put it in a vase and water you in its own artificial type of way and put you on display and that is not true love it's not and I feel like somebody had to learn that. Neptune represents inspiration, dreams, and illusions. Yeah. You may be dreamy. We saw that Taurus type of energy. Pluto represents transformation and rebirth. This isn't a bad thing as long as you learn to roll with the punches and, and embrace personal evolution. It says Neptune represents inspiration, dreams, and illusions. Dreams can become reality when Neptune is present, but only if we are honest with ourselves. What is it that you need to be honest about from a sacral chakra standpoint, from a root base to sacral chakra uh, perspective? Root, any insecurity, anything that would make you feel unsure anything that would uh interrupt your ability to be confident in self that um would stop you from being able to create and fulfill your dreams um anything that would come against your inner knowingness of self who you are yeah it says neptune can lead us to delude ourselves yes and if our goals are not reasonable or clear, having clarity of what your goal should be, you may stumble, you may falter, you may end up with this, attached to this. You may end up attached to those type of energies because, again, can you see when you are being, how you're being deceived? Because deception is going to take place all the time, but can you see is it coming against you for the good of you or for the good of them where does the good lie what is their intention what is their intent i think you see it now i, I think you see it you're starting to get it you're going forward with it the learning is coming in
Alpha says evil is running scared. It is. It's scared of you now. You done turned into a whole spiritual beast with it. Like discernment on point. What point blank period. Like uh no. So with evil running scared. Yeah I hear higher level assignment. A higher level assignment. And we saw that down here. We have abundance surrounds you. They are with you. We definitely see that other water side, cancer. Testify. Are you a person that testifies all the time? We saw spirits say, Alpha and Omega say to pray first always. Always stay behind the spirit of the most high God. Allow it to guide you in every way. You've been gifted with the word and a breath of life. I shade 2552 on the phone when I said that. That's seven and seven both ways. Introspection. Introspection. Always going in, seeing the mirror effect, having your looking at yourself through the spirit. How do they see you? How what is it that they want you to see? What is the way that they want you to go? Following them, keeping your eyes trigger focused, locked on the spirit at all times. Because it's a card down here that says, um, believe to manifest. And there's another one that says, in order to, that you need to see it to manifest it. Or see it to believe it to manifest it. And maybe there was a thing in that. Because again, if your south node is in Taurus and you feel like you need that, you know, you like the luxuries, the fineries, the things in life. That's like, ooh, I like pretty things, I do. But uh, maybe you felt like you needed to see in order to accomplish your goal. Like, I could, you couldn't see yourself getting to that state without, you know, I got to do it self. Following self instead of following the spirit. Don't be afraid. Your help is here. All of this is root chakra energy. Speaking to insecurities. Speaking to developing confidence in self. Developing security. Not only security in self, but security in the most high God. That you are a piece of creation. You are whole. You are complete. There's nothing broken and there's nothing missing. Everything that you need is in the kingdom. Again, that's that base root and sacral chakra connection balancing that out knowing for sure that whatever it is that you need is in the kingdom you will be provided for you have a decree you have an inheritance and you have spiritual tools that come along with it entering into the kingdom praying first asking first of all giving your whole self up because i mean do you want this okay we ain't gonna talk about that but look at that balance Heart to root chakra. Let go. Let go of what doesn't serve you. But back to this right here. Um, when you understand that you have a spiritual decree, you are called, you have a calling, right? And you answer your calling or everything along the way is walking you through your calling so that you can fulfill it, so that you can be developed transform transmuted strengthened so that you can bear the yoke that's been placed upon you and you've been going through this track i want to say anywhere for about the last 15 years round about approximately 12 to 31 what i hear right so it could be depending on where you at what your timeline is how many times you had to learn the lesson come back to the beginning the root and start all over again retrograde post retrograde and then going forward regrade or new grade or some new grade we're gonna go with that i don't know what it's really called but we're gonna go with new grade so if it's a retrograde then you had a post retrograde and then you had a new grade and depending on how many times you've gone through that to bring you back to self bring you back to self bring you back to self to address your shadow energies to get all of it out transmute it and turn it into strength how did it strengthen you Learning that so that you can be spiritually strong enough to bear your task. That root says security. 
It says that I'm safe. I'm good. My needs are met from a basic level. How do we get our needs met, beloved? By going into the kingdom. Knowing for sure, certain self-assuredness, just like I know that I'm a brown-skinned girl with locks to the waist, okay? I can go into the kingdom and have everything met. I can ask for any and everything. Can I ask? Yes, I can come seeking. Seeking, asking for revelation. Have it be revealed on to me. Have it be revealed on to me. And if I have that revelation, I ask for it, it shall be provided. I may not like everything that I hear. Nope. Because it may not be in alignment with what I want to do. But if I am to follow and to be obedient with what is said, I know that it's for my highest good. My highest good, for my ascension, for my rising. And if I follow that, keeping that spirit right there in front of me, I'm not looking to the left, to the right, beyond none of that. I'm looking right here at the spirit at all times. So when it moves, I move just like that. When it moves, I move just like that. Yeah, and it will make every cricket way straight. Because I'm following, and it's going to have me bobbing and weaving. You know what I mean? Like, bruh, man, from the fifth floor, ducking and dodging. Should have bobbed and weaved on that. You know what I mean? That's just what it is. Anything else? M through Q. Your initials could be M through Q. This could be first name. It could be last name. I hear last name. M through Q. Mercury. Mercury represents expression and communication. You could be somebody that's going to communicate. Maybe you have done some communication because we definitely saw that court case going on. You know, Mercury rules how we communicate, whether through in-person conversations, texts, emails, or phone calls. It's something about how you uh, communicate now. You might communicate in a way that have people running scared, like, yeah, we're not going to fuck with that. Mm-mm. We can already see how they communicate that that ain't without nothing. That they ain't even going to buy it. They ain't buying it. Nope. It's like, I feel, not that your nose is turned up, but it's like, you got a higher standard. And if you are not willing to be on the up and up, then don't even come this way. Don't do it. You ain't going to do nothing but get your feelings hurt. <laughs> Spirit say, you going to get your feelings hurt. Come around here. Yeah, because if you ain't willing to uh, communicate in such a way where I can feel your authenticity, I can feel that you in the, you in the right way with it, that you uh, we we meshing in energy, then you might, yep, spirit touch my nose, yep, and y you don't even do it. And I feel somebody else is out there on that same tip, like, yeah, no. Because, see, I, I mean, this is just testimony in this moment. I'm going to just go ahead on and say this, because uh, your girl... Look, you we we might do a text here or there, but call me. I need to hear your voice. I need to feel your energy. I need to put some context to you in tone to what you're saying to me. Yeah, cuz I ain't no damn kid. I don't do this whole oh, we just going to sit up here and text and LOL and WTF and all of this. No. I'm grown as the fuck. Okay, and I still believe in certain things like good, clear communication. Because communication is the basis of any relationship. If we can't talk to each other, you know, substance, depth, then we ain't got sh it ain't shit going on. Because that let me know that you ain't deep and you don't want shit deep over here. So you can go ahead on and continue to play in them shallow ass puddles that you like to run through. Because this is a whole ocean, boo, and you got to know how to swim to fuck with it. I'm just saying. Period. You better get a life vest. Fuck around and drown in this bitch. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. We ain't gonna go there, Alpha. I know. Ah, Alpha said, tell him what it is. This ain't no game. It's a whole lot of well, let me quit what I'm just saying. Anyway. We back. We back. This is about y'all. <laughs> it ain't about your girl. This is about you. We okay, let's get it. Anywho. Um, it says known for being analytical and curious. Yeah. Mercury. Um, it changes signs every 14 days. Here today, gone tomorrow. You fucked around and missed it. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, Sarah, look. You come around this way, you better have your mind made up. Because uh, <laughs> you look today. Shit, depending on where they at, they might be gone tomorrow. <laughs> they going to be gone in a minute. You might be making a change in another 14 days. I don't know what you got going on in your life, but something is going to change. We've been seeing transformation. We've been seeing transmutation. We've been seeing change. We do see communication clearly and the fact that, you know, people cannot come to you and think that you're just going to be there. And like, oh, I, I'm going to just pick up where I left off. No you gonna go back to an empty ass space like they been gone like 14 days ago gone so yeah we i don't i don't think you holding around no no being planted and stagnant like i'm just gonna stand here and wait for the ship to come back and come back in hell no nah. Hell no, you six of swords with it, like you moving forward with it, like that eight of wands with it, like got some accelerated, accelerated motion. I'm talking about planetary motion. Do you really know how fast these damn things be moving? I mean, like seriously. Because I think Earth is hurtling around this bitch at like how many fucking hundreds of miles an hour or per second or some shit like that. Just think about it. It feel real slow to us because we used to the speed. You know, we used to that force. But it's, an, it's moving fast enough to push us to the goddamn ground. Think about how gravity works. Just saying. Anywho, uh, this helps us understand our own thoughts better. So that we can gain clarity in all situations and relationships. Mercury is also known as a trickster. Especially when it's in retrograde. So if you got somebody swinging back around the block. Be careful of why. Think about it. Use your clarity. Use your own discernment. Right. Um, for any situation in any relationship. Right. Yeah. We see air. Look at this. I was just getting ready to say, we see air, which says Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. We already saw Aquarius in here, so there's something going on with air. And Libra is here, and look what I just flipped to. Libra. We said balance. Libra. Wow. It ain't me. We. It's not. It's the Alpha and the Omega. Hey. Oh. Hey. Oh, I hear naughty by nature, y'all. I'm telling you. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius are air signs. Known for being curious, intelligent, and very communicative. An air sign will talk your ear off, sharing their brilliant ideas and taking you down their many trains of thought. Right? It says, diplomatic and intelligent and social, Libras are all about balance. Represented by the scales and ruled by Venus, they prefer steady relationships that are full of shared experiences. They take their partnerships to the next level of seriousness and expect the exact same in return. Somebody is not giving you the same in return or somebody doesn't want to go to the next level. The, a Libra is in a relationship where it's not an equal give and take. It's not. Their scales are off balance. They feel their relationship is off balance. When they don't find a partner to offer the balance and mirroring that they seek, they must undergo, undergo a great deal of self-discovery to understand who they are so that they can attract healthier connections in the future. So if you are a Libra um, and you are in an unbalanced relationship the planets the alignment the alpha the omega has aligned everything in such a way to call you back to yourself to your origin to your root to discover what's going on on the inside of you so that you can attract healthier relationships because we attract what's going on inside of us if you are chaotic if you are unbalanced if you are dealing with any past hurt and traumas the demons that are lurking in this space will definitely uh resonate with you and they'll come right on in 
But if you've developed yourself and put yourself in balance, you will know how to discern and you can block that out. You can word it out. How you communicate and how you speak to a thing, you call that word out. You speak it out. Moving on the breath, it will take off running. It will flee from thee every single time. You will send evil running. Let's get it. 39, 36 on the phone when I said it. Back to the beginning. Aries. First sign of the zodiac. Aries is the first sign of the zodiac and represents the beginning of the astrology wheel. Symbolized as a ram, Aries are action oriented, orientated, and ready to go. They are always passionate and excited for new adventure. This feisty fire sign connects with the world through a courageous zeal and drive for success. Aries are fiercely independent and can often jump into something before they're fully ready. Somebody jumped into something before they were ready. Yeah, this both this is both a major blessing and a caution for this ambitious sign as they are here to break boundaries with their trailblazing efforts. Somebody is a boundary blake breaker boundary blaker. Somebody is a boundary breaker, trail blazer, trail blazer, trail blazer. You kick things off and start to cycle anew. Everybody is going forward based on your momentum, based on your ambition. Taurus. What did I just say? Everybody is following Aries. We put Aries back in. We read it. We flipped it. The first one and what comes out the second and we already read Taurus in this reading 4112 on the phone when I said that that is 2222 two, two, two. 4112 4 is two twos right a 1 and a 1 is 2 and then another 2 2222 two, two, two. it says Taurus again we read this you know you might like luxury Maybe you were ambitious and going off to get what you really want. And I said two, two, two. Well, we ain't gonna talk about it, y'all. Anything else in here? No. Juno. This is the wife of Jupiter. Um, represents intimate relationships, marriage, commitment, partnership, along with the complexities that come along with interpersonal relationships, including jealousy and infidelity. Look into Juno to see where it's at in your zodiac sign. For clues on who you should be with and attributes you might look for in a strong relationship. So look into Juno to see who you might mesh with, you know. But first, look into yourself, into your sacral chakra, so that you can mesh good with you. You and you mesh good, coming together with you. Close the door on that first. On whatever traumas you may have that's unresolved, then talk about it. Get it up and get that shit out so that you don't attract another one in another you a representation of the traumas that you have within clear it up and clear it out so that you can put the spirit in front of you you can see your highest self your, that representation of the AO right here and you follow that forward it will lead you into in such a way 4255 yeah it will lead you in such a way that when you speak out a word and whoever you're communicating with whether it's Email, text messages, voice talking, just talking. It sends evil running. That which will come against you backwards lived. Something that's not called to support your life or your cause or your purpose, your calling. It's something that will come to take away from you, to detract from you. Again, backwards lived. That's evil. It will send anything that's against your life or your ability to flourish, to uh, prosper running away from you. You will be living forward, not backwards. New grade, not retrograde. Abstinence, that was that stepping up to another level. We see that step it up into another level. That's that solar plexus chakra, right? We talked a lot about the root and the sacral, but we need to coming to a state of enlightenment and sometimes it takes this right here that scorpionic energy right whether this is a scorpio because we saw that 
with that train energy cancer and scorpio or you just coming together with your same sign your same element like iron sharpens iron right fire and fire coming together air and air coming together water sign and water sign we said that for your girl testimony you know what i mean and that rush of emotion right you know like almost like a tsunami you know how a tsunami comes in and onto the shore and it rips everything down like it could move 14 20 something miles beyond the coast and tear every fucking thing down and then you have to re it, it washes it back out and you know it's all this debris that have to be cleaned up and swirling but it causes you to have to rebuild to return back to the base that's that post shadow retrograde space that's what i feel anything else on that beloved no anything you would like to get yes Ooh, this one back here this you want this you want this no Whew. So that was cleaning up that energy, y'all. Y'all still with me? I pray so. 45-35 on the phone. Trust your path. New grade. Trust your path. You're going on a whole different pathway, a whole different journey. If you knew you were supported, what would you do? If you knew that the Alpha and Omega supported you in such a way that even the planets are aligned, you know, the universe, the cosmos, the infinite intelligence be coming out saying they called Alpha and Omega called the creed and the word in the breath is going forth moving to syncopate all things so that you can reach your highest self, what would you do? Would you feel safe? Would you feel secure? Would you know that the kingdom is built in and you can enter it and have everything revealed, everything that you need is already gifted onto thee? You only need to go in to ask and to seek who's speaking Alpha. You only need to go in to ask and to seek. Have it revealed. It's baked in. Thank you, brother. Pilates, devil mission, channeling, lifting up, uplifting humanity. You were awakened to a calling. You were developed. And maybe you're challenged by it. Maybe you didn't know who you are, you know. Again, definitely felt like worker, empath type of energy. Being fooled by deception and people in that mirroring. Uh, maybe you were hurt because, you know, of things from the past and needing to come to balance. Not really sure who to match with. What are people's intentions? Get grounded. Empath. What did I just say you were? It ain't... <laughs> It's Alpha, the Omega. Hey, oh, hey, 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 oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Y'all get it. Empath, highly sensitive. You need to stay grounded. You need to stay connected. Connected in the spirit. Keeping the spirit in front of you at all times. Because you think that people look like you because you can connect to them. You are highly sensitive, but they are, you may get fooled. You know, they may come and fool you. 4822 on the phone. How many twos is that, beloved? Akasha. Your guidance is divinely guided. The guidance that you get, this infinite intelligence, your intuition, is divinely guided. Get that, beloved. Get that. When you know that you tapped into the spirit and that intuition is like, okay, it's activated, 
boom, it's activated, it's resonating, you flowing with it, then to realize that that is divinely guided by the Alpha and the Omega coming in to guide your intuition and what you see so that you can move forward. Is that right? Yes. Anything else in here, beloved? No. Creating heaven on earth is happening. You got a double mission. To uplift the frequency of humanity. You're an empath. You're a light worker. Anything else? We're going to get into uh, some of these. Uh, you want that on the table? No, we good. Look. Pull it out. First one on the bottom. Profoundly clairvoyant. Profoundly clairvoyant. You want this one right here? This. Light and love, beloved. You a, love, a light worker. You on a double mission. To do what? Your purpose is to bring divine healing, light, and love to this world. Double mission. And if you knew you were supported, what would you do? Would you go after it fiercely? Would you have that ambition? Would you like uh, the Aries? Groundbreaking, trailblazing, leading everything. Understanding that you will not be deterred with that Taurus energy. I ain't moving. I'm heading for it like the bull charging through this piece. What? Clear yourself. You done took on some energy. You got to transmute it. Whatever has happened in your past, beloved, release it. See it. Let it fall away from me. Don't detach. Uh, look. Don't detach. That's wrong. Huh. Retrograde energy. No, just slow down so I can get it right. Thank you. No excuses. No excuses. <laughs> That's it for the day, though. No excuses. It's time to see self and clear your energy. Allow things to, you know, rebalance self. Root chakra. Security. Ability to go into the sacral, the kingdom, with all that you be. Everything. My whole weak self. Going to look, please receive me in all of my mess, all of it. Show me, reveal onto me the secret things of me, the secret things of thee. I want to know, I want to know, can you show me? I want to know about the strangers like me. Reveal onto me. So that I can see, I can resonate, I can come into enlightenment and see that thing. I can transmute the energy and release what doesn't serve me and use what does to propel me to move forward to my heart's desires. My true mind is thinking clearly because it's not clouded up with the shit that's done been done to me or that I did to me. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Okay, we going to get it. And then you can speak out. You talking about speaking a word, clearly communicate in such a way that it was seeing evil running anything that's backwards lived. The devil. That's against your life. Come on with it. Lead it, lay it by your intuition and only to discover that your intuition is divinely guided because you in complete alignment. Let's get it. Clear yourself. Ask angels to release any toxic energies that you may have absorbed. Ask for release. Ask for help. You got help, beloved. You are connected. You are connected. You are connected. Maybe you're not asking for help. Maybe you think you got to do it by yourself. Or you didn't accept the help. Something like that. You want this? All right. Bridget. Caution is warranted. Look deeper into the situation before proceeding forward. Somebody need to look deeper. Ask for help. All things revealed unto me. Look deep before you proceed. Be willing to forgive. Forgive you. Forgive you. If you fully forgive yourself, you will forgive them too. Because you will see that you was in it because of the choices that you made. Because you always have the ability to speak out a word, to propel stuff, ask specific questions, to take the advice was given on to you. Because again, you might ask the spirit and the spirit to tell you something and you don't want to hear it. You don't want to do it. You don't. And if that be the case, then you got to forgive you for the decisions that you made that were against you. And that's just truth. That's real shit. That's brass tax with it. No excuses. 
You are boss. You can call and command your whole life. But sometimes if we call it in confusion and, and, and illusions and, conf you know what I mean, like backwards thinking your mindset, where was your mind with it? Was it based on the traumas that you experienced? No judgment. Release it. No judgment because we are here to learn. And while you've gone through this great lesson to discover the strength that is in you, now it's just kind of time to do what you were sent here to do. You deserve the best. Reach for the stars with your dreams and desires and don't compromise. Don't compromise. No excuses. You can't come to me with bullshit. I don't want to hear no excuse with it. Because you make time for what you want. You make time for what you treasure. It ain't no such thing as I'm too busy. Nope, it's not. You're not too busy to love on somebody that you care about. You're not. And it, 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 it's time out for fuck-ass fuckery. It just is. And if you want fuckery, then I can detect it. Mm -hmm. I can detect it on how you speak to me. How we correspond, how we communicate. And if you on that level with it, then shit, that, it just is what it is. Touche. Great day. Love you. Ashe. Trying to get that in there so y'all can read it. Anything else on this side? Yes, it is. All right, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Hey, get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, hey, oh, hey, oh. Environmentalist, you're an earth angel. Said that. You're a light worker. And then the first one out says you're profoundly clairvoyant. The other one said light and love. You're here for a purpose. To do what? That double mission that we pulled? Channeling and uplifting humanity? Yeah. You have to get good with you first though. Yeah. You have to learn. where you're, it, it, And be replenished in the spirit. Be made strong. Spiritually strong. Because you got a yoke. And you need to bear it. Who's speaking? Omega. You got a yoke. And you need to bear it. You do. Remember to go back and return to the spirit. Return to your origin. And stay grounded and stay rooted. Asking to have that energy transmuted. You take on a lot of stuff, a lot of energy. And receiving that from the plane. Yes. And to have your resonance, your frequency tuned, fine-tuned. You have to transmute transmute clean out those chakras break down that energy and release it get your oil changed beloved you definitely are an earth angel who was born to protect nurture and teach about the nature and animals you may connect with animals you may connect with nature you may connect with everything in the plane i feel gaia energy yeah, this is in reverse. You want it in the reverse? Yes, okay. What do you desire right now? Visualize it. And we talked about that. Get clear. Get clear. Any confusion and muddled vision will bring in confusion and muddiness into your life. Get clear on what you want and go and, and, and stay fixed. See it, set it, forget it. It's done. Manifest it. Believe it to manifest it. Negativity will only block your progress. That's what we just said. Negativity blocks your progress. It's in reverse. So you need to get clear. You know, anything else? Um, yes, the timing is right for this new venture. We've been saying you want a new venture. New grade, new grade, step up, new grade, right? A happy outcome follows your positive expectations. Again, we said put that in the reverse. You not clear, get clear. And be positive that you're going to have a good outcome. Keep your mind on it. Set it and forget it. Go on with it. Yeah, anything else in here? You want this one? I feel this. Quiet retreats. It's time to disconnect from the outer world. Get grounded. So that you can discern, process your true thoughts. Process what's inside of you. Post-shadow retrograde. 
Returning to the origin, that root, getting real secure and taking it all into the kingdom. Reconnecting with your spirit space. Moving up into that solar so that you can be enlightened. Enlightened, not only enlightened and understanding, but be inside, internally lightened releasing the old that no longer serves you and taking on what's going to fuel you and move you forward towards your heart's desire ambition strong trail blazing blockage breaking moving mountains the whole world shaking evil running scared why because you done came into alignment and you ready to speak out a word that says, I shall not be moved. Get thee back. I rebuke you in the name of the Alpha and the Omega, that which cannot be named on their authority if they so choose, because it is thy will be done. I am the willing and surrendered vessel, and the word lives in me, and it breathes. And as I am, look, we ain't gonna get into it, we gonna start preaching. Come on with it now. It's a whole new day, new grade on the way. Create this quiet time for yourself and you'll be more have more clarity about what to do next. Create a quiet space for you to obtain clarity so that you can know what to do next. You need to be able to visualize your success with clarity. You need to be able to see your pathway forward. You definitely are a clairvoyant. I see a lot of water, mermaid, fishes, and we've been talking about that water energy. Fairies, you're connected to fairies. You may see them. They may see you. Yeah, you have a strong bond with the fairies. And your life purpose involves helping Mother Nature. What do we see? Environmentalists. Environmentalists. Protecting, nurturing, right? It says, nature and animals. What does this one say? Helping mother nature. Right? That's the same thing. The environment. Animals. You may be somebody that really cares about animals and the planet. Mother Gaia herself and creation itself. All the inhabitants of creation. Creation is whole. Creation is complete. There's nothing broken and there's nothing missing. Everything speaks. Everything. Everything has spirit. It does. And if you care about the whole, whole the unit, that's a lot of emotion. A lot of emotion. Trust what you see in your mind's eye as well as your physical sight for your spiritual vision helps you with healing, teaching, and guidance. Healing, teaching, and guiding. Guidance. Again, an earth angel who was born to protect, nurture, and teach about nature and animals. Love and light. Your purpose is to bring the divine healing, light, and love to this world. Anything else in here, beloved? No. All right, all right, all right. You are confused and indecisive because you do not have enough information. Do research or seek expert advice before making a decision. And Spirit told us, the Alpha and Omega said, always to Pray first. 10306 on the phone. Pray first. Seek guidance. Seek counsel at all time, beloved. Counsel from the Spirit will guide you. Keeping that Spirit in front of you. When you move, I move just like that. Have you bob and weave around some ish. I'm telling you. You said it wasn't nothing else in here. Shield yourself, though. It'll protect you. You learned how to protect you. Have an abundance mindset. Yeah. And obstacles and blocks are lifted. You may still be facing them. 
if you keep the spirit in front of you, you can move past them. You will blow through them. You can speak to them and they will move. You will send evil running. Abundance mindset. Get in alignment. You see those chakras lit up? Alignment. You see the green, the flowering behind her in every scenario? Standing on top of all of this wealth that just attracts and comes into you? That Taurus energy. Shield yourself. This thing gives me stability. It represents knowledge and preparedness. And it also knock the shit out of a bitch. They run up, I'm telling you. Multi-purpose with it. Protect yourself from harsh or fear-based energies. Fear-based energies. By envisioning a cocoon of healing light surrounding you. What did we pray in the beginning? Brighten up my light. Brighten up my lumen so bright. I'm surrounded in light. It repels anything that's dark. It cannot stand it. It's twofold. Moths to a flame. They see your light shining bright and they want to come in. Are, do you have holes and chinks in your armor? Are you shining bright enough so that when they get to you, they are immediately incinerated or running scared? Oh no, that's too hot. That's too bright. I can't come over there. They have to match you. They have to match your intensity. They have to match your vibration. If you are hooking up with people that are not good for you, maybe you need to transmute and use that energy to brighten your light, your lumen, raising yourself up. Move up another level. Release and let it go. Because it's time for you to go to the next now, y'all. 10604 on the phone. That breaks down to 11. Two. You coming back to you. This is your girl, Lottie. Anything else, beloved? Nope. That's it. We did it. We have another sip. Yes. It's about cold now, but it's okay. How far? Omega? Yes. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, said we done with it. That intelligence and that breath was baked in and we was allowed to get it. Yes, it breathes. It breathes. It breathes in me. We have all of creation with us too, my we. All of the ascended masters and ascended ancestors are here. Yes, to support them. You are not alone. You are never alone, my we. You're not. Y'all want to drink with me? Yes. Drink. Drink. All of us. Yes. We got a little bit to sacrifice. Just a little bit left. I love y'all. I love y'all just like I love the Alpha and Omega that called me, that gave me my decree. Yes, I love the infinite intelligence, wisdom, the word, mm -hmm, the principal thing, and the breath of life. Ooh, ooh. <sighs> that life force, the holy chi. Oh, yes. It allows that word that's baked in me to move, to breathe, to live, to live. I pray that you guys enjoyed the session. And I hope you know that I love you just like I love all of that I do. Because we are creation. We are whole. We are complete. 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 There's nothing broken. And there's nothing missing. Any and everything that you need, it is already with you. It is baked in. You don't need to see it to manifest it. You need to believe it to manifest it. And whatever you believe will be drawn into thee. Transmute your energy. Go back to the origin and see what's plaguing thee. What is causing any sense of insecurity? Take it into the kingdom, your whole self, and release it. Ask him to be received. All of you come as you are. Always, beloved. Always. You will be received. And that which you ask for revelation will be given on to thee. You can see self clearly.
And when you can see yourself clearly, you can change anything. Go on, Miss Anna Mae Bullock. Yes, you can change anything. You can move it up into that solar and have that enlightenment come in. Enlightenment and enlightened in the internal. Letting things fall away. And having what you need to raise yourself up to meet your heart's desires. I say the true desire of your heart. Speaking out in such a way that you call everything into thee. Because you will eat every word that you speak. And that's the truth. Having it come into you. Because this right here is divinely guided. Listen. Can you hear it? Oh, I hear it. 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 Oh, let's get in my week. Let's get it. Hey, get in my week. Let's get it. Oh, get in my week. Let's get it. Yes. Yes. Who you be? I don't know. I be Lati. Hopefully, your favorite channel messenger. I be it. I be it. I claim it. I claim it. I don't need to see it to believe it. I believe it. And because I do, I will see it. To the next now, y'all. This one's done. Love you. Ashe. Mm -hmm.